Musketeers have taken a 4-1 victory over the reigning Atlantic Sun champion, Lipscomb Bison. I'm here with Xavier head coach, Nate Lee. We heard you early challenge your team to show some personality. You got down 1-0. It was a quality header for yeah. Lipscomb. You answered with four straight goals. Talk about your progress here this afternoon. Sure. Let me uh, please first uh, shout out Lipscomb. for. It's tough to play Sunday games. It's yeah. really tough to play Sunday games on the road. Uh, it's tough when you have to drive five hours. And they had uh, like a, a derby game on Thursday against Vanderbilt, put all of it into it to pull out a tie. And so I think they just um, got tired there at the end of the second half, and that's tough. And they're super class program. Kevin, um, they're, they're first class. And so shout out to them. Um, gave us everything we could handle in the first half. A lot of the stuff that they play a 4 4 2, it's sometimes tough to play against. And, and, put, and they were just the harder, more dedicated team, and that's how they scored their first goal. They served a ball into the box. I think it was one versus four. I think it's something I'd like to see our goalkeeper, Maria, be able to command it. I think uh, our defenders should have a little more pride in the box. Um, but it was kind of emblematic of how we were playing in the first half, which I think is up there with Northwestern is our, our worst half that since I've been at Xavier Soccer. And so um, I challenged the group at halftime. You know, good job on to Brooke to getting the equalizing goal. We didn't look very dangerous, but she made something out of nothing. Um, it's great having her back her fifth year. She's starting to round into form. Her and Molly are two of our three fifth-year seniors, I think, got us to halftime tied, which I felt was a little bit fortunate with how we played. And then I challenged the team at halftime. And to, to their credit, they were absolutely fantastic uh, in the second half. They, they, they did a kind of all the triggers, all the cues, all the things that we pride ourselves identity-wise. I believe it was 17-0 on shots, 3-0 on corners. I mean, it felt like we had a dangerous every opportunity every two minutes. And, uh, you know, when we're playing our best, we wear down opponents. And uh, I think that's a little bit of what happened. C.J. Graham, their keeper, made it tough on you. Made some quality saves. She had 10 on the afternoon. One of them, I guess, at the end could have been another goal for you. You might have had five. Well, I think the defender might have been behind the goal line, but we'll pass on that for now. <laughs> but just talk about Graham's play. She was tough to solve today. Yeah, we um, – well, I mean, we got the PK today, but, but I mean, for me, it felt yep. like a, a pure PK. I think we've been on the wrong side of some calls, including mm -hmm. on Thursday. Um, I think that was probably a goal that, that they didn't call. But um, yeah, they, their goalkeeper, Lipsom's, goal, Lipsom's goalkeeper, made some really big saves. We were all over them for a while when it was still one-to-one -one and kept on feeling like, are we going to get the second one? And part of the reason we didn't was the crossbar. <laughs> yes. And part of the reason was, yes. the, was their goalkeeper. Talk about your midfield play. Molly did a nice job. I thought you did a nice job to contain some of the runs for Lipscomb, turn them and turn them into opportunities. Yeah, in our, our midfield was 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 yeah. very good in the second half, and that's um, Molly, Ella, Avery, and Jane played a lot. Um, it's nice to have Jane back. She missed a, a set of games. They, the, the the problem that Lipscomb had was when they were handling pressure and they cleared the ball, we were able to get 90% of those clearances, and we were, we were able to keep the ball and move it around, and it's pretty – demoralizing and exhausting when you've defended and then you clear it and then it comes back at you and mm -hmm. back at you. And I think our, our midfield, our center backs, our outside backs, um, I think we're just really locked in. We had a lot of leadership through the back line. Um, Rachel Dewey, he's back for her fifth year, like was very, very good for us. I think Elise played her best half of soccer. Um, and so, yeah, I think I, I, we just talked to the team. I think some of the games in the first half, I think the only pr player who played really well was Molly. And I think the second half, it's pretty much everybody. Yeah. yeah. You used 23 players here today. What's the value for that? forward developing getting kind of near the Big East season to get some players in and get them some minutes yeah I think we um played seven freshmen um part of it was uh people were tired I mean we put a lot into that game on Thursday I think part of it was we won't, no one deserved to be on the field in my opinion so we were going to try people and see who, who who earned a place um and then part of it is our, our identity which we've talked about for mm -hmm. years and years and years and um I hope that our team understands that part of the reason we were able to wear down our opponent is we were able to use more depth in them all right, Coach, thanks. Congratulations. Thanks, Four Mike. goals matches the season. Best for you. Appreciate